Okay, guys, we're just going to finish off now by talking about the actuator valves. Um, while we're there, we can see that the actuator valve has a plastic body, a silver ring, and there's a red indicator. If that is corrupt, if your system keeps blowing, the fuses keep blowing, check these. Sometimes these are corrupt and blown. And, and if you're in doubt, just leave it off the system. You still get heat flowing. Of course, you want to sort this out before it gets really cold. But let's put these back on. I kept them in order. So you don't need to push it down to start it. You just seat it. Start turning with your finger. It takes takes a moment to catch it. You see, I think I'm there, but I'm not. It's still not quite right. You just have to sometimes get your head down to that level. Make sure you're at the right angle. Um, try and oops, get this up right down there. It's better. There we are, sitting there now. And once it's turning, you're fine. So with my hand, I can turn it. Turn it as much as you can with your fingers. And after a while, it gets tough. So now you turn the two together and back. Turn the two together and back. Turn the two together until, the, until it's tight. Not over tight. This means the valve will be controlled by the wall thermostat. So just getting there. That's it. We're pretty tight now. Just make sure we're, we're good. That's it. Okay, don't need to do it anymore. And the other one. Let's pop it on here. That one's set more easily, so it's straight on. And you're turning So I'm clockwise. turning I'm turning clockwise, yeah. Make sure you don't mess the screw up. Good to good to check it, but it's going it's going freely. And when it gets tough, start using the body to twist it as well. Nearly there. So you can see the this is how the actuator, and as I say, sometimes the actuators are faulty and will keep blowing the system. It will blow the, the fuse. So you, the, you, the, the way to find out is either to do, use a meter to circuit test it, see if there's an open circuit, or uh, to put each room on one by one. You've got to allow 20 minutes between each, and, and when you put a room on, it blows the fuse. You know that it's that room's circuit. They're all labelled. But you know that's the actuator and it's easy to remove but you might want to get an electrician you just follow this up into this slave box take this four slaves off there's simple blue and red wires so blue and brown wires in there it's low voltage no problem easy to do and these are cheap to pick up it's in the welcome pack okay let's just reseat the last two this is going in easily using the body to help me go along don't forget one thing for certain is, if the actuators aren't all labelled, three of them are, just look at the grey pipe here. They're all labelled. Living room, kitchen, bedroom one, and bedroom two. And each of those will have a thermostat. The kitchen one might be this one, might be integrated, but each one will have a thermostat. So if you, if you do mix them up, you can just look at the grey pipes. Yeah, that's still hot there. And I can feel heat coming through here. We've had the valves off. Let's get these fully back on. It looks like a big deal with this. I've just got on the ground, it's easier. It's not a big deal, it's easy to do. You should all be able to do this or find someone that can do it for you. Ian won't do it for you. Ian won't touch anything in their box of tricks here. They might give some advice, but they, they're unlikely to do anything. Let's get the last one on. It looks like it's going, but it's not. It will go in a minute. It's got to sit, that's it. There we go. Thank you. Right, so the valves are back on. They're the actuators. While I'm tightening this up, there are a number of control things, other things you can do. Okay, there's a control valve here. If we get the lights on it, you can see what temperature. If you want the hotter water, you can adjust this, this valve here. If we just come around this side, you can just see the settings. Zoom in. Just a bit of light there just to show us this. Just see that the, the, it's on 80. They recommend 80 to 90 in the manual. It's a Danfoss valve controller. You don't need to touch that. There's also another valve controller in here, but you can't touch it because it's eons. Uh, and I think we're done on the actuator valves.